Well, good evening. Um, we're back here for our fourth uh, painting session. Uh, this is going to be the wrap up on this painting. Um, so we're going to kind of review what we did um, in the earlier um, sessions. Uh, first of all, we were uh, facing a blank canvas. Uh, I I uh, put a coat of white, titanium white, over my canvases, even though uh, they come from the factory, um, pre-coated. So um, this is a coat of uh, titanium white. So basically looking for, well, where do we start? I mean, we really have a blank canvas here. So what I did is I drew a circle and I drew a square. And it's my theory that if you put something on the canvas, some shape on the canvas, then creativity will take over after that. So that's what I did. Square and a circle. And then I did these connecting lines and split my canvas in half. This line here and this line down here. Okay, next. Um, I painted in this area here in yellow. I've, got, I've since then put a second coat on that. Uh, and uh, painted the uh, circle in in orange and um, cut, um, took part of our square and painted it black. Uh, next we put in this uh, horizontal line here and um, added uh, this circle, uh, this abstract section here. Remember we had left this area in here open to another color. Well, we finally came up with the other color, and that's purple. So that gave me, and we talked earlier about the colors. Now. I like to paint three of each color or odds. So we did one, five, uh, three, five. Um, so that gave me uh, purple, purple, and purple three. Uh, the orange is a single, and the uh, yellow is also single. This area in here, was white and I wanted to leave some white in the canvas but I don't want to leave too much white. This was white, this was white and um, and this section down here, the small section in the bottom here was white. So I mixed some titanium white and um, uh, orange to come up with a sort of salmon pink color. I've used that in the past. I, uh, I like the way it blends. So I painted this section with that color, and I didn't want to leave just that one area, so I painted three. So that took care of that. So we have the three um, uh, in, in the blue turquoise. We have the three in the red. Um, and uh, in black, let's see, we ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven sections of black, so everything is exactly how we had planned. Um, so since our last uh, video, uh, just to repeat myself, we painted in this salmon color. Um, we uh, coated, second coated a lot of this, uh, a lot of these colors, and uh, did some of our outlining. We have a little bit of outlining left, uh, we also went in, and we're going to add a little right now, a little more texture to the white because that was put on with a big brush, a, a two or three inch brush, uh, we're whiting the canvas out. And um, that's pretty much going to do it for this, uh, for this abstract painting. Um, we're shut in over here, and this is on day... I'm losing track of how many days, but over 35 since we closed the studio up on March 18th, and uh, we're hoping to get back there soon, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens. So let me add a little bit of uh, this titanium white, and all I'm looking to do is these areas here in the white is to add some texture, put some texture into it. Uh, some brush strokes, if you will. Um, um, it's already coated real well, but 
Now I have a couple of little spots I can touch up and and I will. And um and act just like that. Just a little, a few brush strokes uh, to take away some of the broad strokes from a bigger brush. And um, hit this area over here a little bit. And I cut in a couple of little spots. You can see a lot of different things into abstract canvases. I mean, um, you can flip it around in a couple different ways. I I chose to um, go with it the way I painted it, which is this position. But also, I tried it in a couple others and they were pretty good. Um, sure eat up some time while you're shut in painting but if you got some got some old canvases unused canvas or you know easy enough to get some they'll send it right to your front door um, this is a great way to, to spend time and feel a little bit better about being shut in and I got a little smudge there much there too so I'm gonna have to get the black out and I got cats talking to me oh Bella that's another one of our indoor cats Bella Dots of white on our purple. So we're going to take care of that. And um, get a couple of little touch ups in the black. So we'll take care of that also. Get to some brush under some water. So let me go dig up some black and some purple. And we'll tend to that right away. Yeah, 
Precise, you want to get with this stuff. Okay. Okay. okay, so that takes care of that. Yeah, let's see. Um, a couple spots of black where I touch up. Let me watch. Using this small round brush, um, because it's a very small area, there's a, no point in getting a, a one inch brush um, um, full of paint for a couple dots. Okay, so let's see. Wash out this brush. I'm coming into you uh, a little earlier today. I've been painting in the middle of the night, but uh, it's only uh, 8.30 in the evening on, um, what day is it? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Um, so. Okay, get that water off. Um, Good. Put another one here someplace now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, right here on the end. I think that's going to probably do it. Let's see, a little spot here. Uh, we got the, um, spoke about how I outline. Um, I like to outline my blocks of color and this is a handy little tool for doing that. So you don't have to paint it all in by hand. It's a uh, acrylic uh, acrylic paint in a marker, and uh, so that way, if you want to varnish over something, um, it's not going to smear. It dries up just like the paint. I got a little spot of turquoise there. I'm going to get that. Okay, Bella. Okay, Bella talking over here. I pick her up, but she doesn't like being picked up. Cap up this black. Feels like the more you touch up, the more places you have to touch up. Um, I've got a little spot of turquoise over there. I'm gonna get. Falling. Okay. Oh, 
I'll wipe that brush out and um, I'll touch up that one little dot of turquoise. And I think that's gonna pretty much do it. I already signed it this afternoon when I was working on it, so that's done. Um, careful with the salmon because I mixed that, I mixed that color uh, special and uh, I don't have any, I'd have to start mixing again. Uh, so, okay. Be careful, I'm going to put a little bit of spot up here. A little bit more salmon showing than we wanted to. Touch up. And I think that's going to probably do it. A little, you can't see these, uh, but I can. And they're just a little bit of nothing, but there you go. Anyway. All right. Okay, good enough. We're going to leave it at that. So, with that, uh, we conclude our, um, our um, abstract painting in the middle of um, the coronavirus uh, threat. Um, uh, we're going to probably, I'm going to probably pull out another canvas and white it out in the next day or so and uh, start painting something else. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're all staying safe and uh, you're not in, in need of anything. And uh, we'll see you soon. Good night.